Hello again. Um, we will um, review another example which is very important. Uh, in this example, we consider a narrowband uh, noise. Uh, narrowband noise or narrowband thermal noise is modeled by um, a stochastic process which is a random variable at any given time. And uh, this uh, narrowband thermal noise uh, has two uh, random variables in it. So it is equal to x times cosine of omega dot t y times sine of omega naught t uh, and is denoted by this one. Uh, here omega naught is 2 pi f naught and f naught is called uh, carrier frequency in hertz and omega naught is carrier frequency in radian uh, per second. So um, you can you can consider this uh, random pair x and y at one point. So let's say this is uh, your x coordinate, and this is your uh, y coordinate. <clears throat> this is your r, and this angle is theta. Now, if you consider this point and you start to rotate it around the circle. Uh, <clears throat> f naught times per second or uh, with these hertz or um, omega naught radian per um, second so suppose that this point is rotating at time t equals zero is here and at time t arbitrary time t it is here so if I had time to here, so um, so you, your angle is going to be theta plus this new angle because it's, um, um, uh, during time t it will be at the location of omega naught t plus theta. So the x coordinate of these will be random variable time t. Okay. So n t is basically the x coordinate of the random pair which is rotating with a speed of f naught um, uh, times per second. So um, assuming this example that x and y are independent and they have zero mean, um, they have zero mean. Um, we also assume that they have same variance. So uh, um, amplitude of nt. Uh, so um, it's because this is sinusoidal. If you if you plot it, is a sinusoidal signal which has a, a peak. Okay. So these peaks values is r, and here is minus r, and this angle. Um, uh, it has theta, so here is theta. Um, at time t0, you are at, let's say here, theta is negative. And r um, uh, has a Rayleigh distribution. And um, r and theta are independent. And theta has uniformly, uh, has a uniform distribution in this interval. So, um, so we can we can quickly show that a noise power uh, here uh, is uh, uh, if you calculate mean of n of t uh, to the power of two, you can easily show that this is equal to one half of mean of r to the power of two, and is equal to sigma two, which is the variance of uh, uh, x two. Uh, variance of x and also is equal to variance of y and mean of x and y are zero. So these uh, conclusions you can use the previous uh, video to prove that. I will leave you to this uh, exercise.